you go to the Islamic faith, they will tell you two things. Or they will deny two things about Jesus Christ. Number one, he cannot be the son of God because that's a blasphemy. God cannot have a son. You are blaspheming. That's the Islamic faith, not me. And secondly, Jesus was never crucified, but it was shown to them as if it was Jesus. In fact, they say God put Judas Iscariot on the cross instead of Jesus. Judas Iscariot. Islam came in 635 AD. The Gospel of John was written around 100 AD. So 535 years came after the Gospel of John. John is an eyewitness, my dear Muhammad. John is an eyewitness. He lived with Jesus. He walked with Jesus. He saw Jesus wonders and miracles and he documented it fresh fresh so you're telling me that I, now I need to believe in someone coming six centuries or seven centuries after the Holy Bible was documented you want me to believe in a document that came seven centuries after the Holy Bible you want me to believe in someone that never saw Jesus, never lived with Jesus, never walked with Jesus, over the one who walked, lived, ate, embraced Jesus Christ every single day for three years and four months. Where is the logic? The one who was with the Lord said, this is God. This is the Son of God. This is God Himself. He was crucified. He was buried. And I saw Him risen after the burial. Muhammad came in 635 and he said, he is not the son of God. He is just a prophet. He was never crucified. In fact, Judas Iscariot was placed by God to deceive the Jews. Pale green. They come, they accept Jesus. But as a prophet only, they accept Jesus, not crucified. They accept Jesus, not as the son of God. They accept Jesus, definitely not God. So what have you left with Jesus then? You take the cross away, you take the son of God away from him, and you take the divine from him. He's a prophet. Prophet for what? Those who wrote the Holy Bible, both Old and New Testament, are over 40 writers. It took a time frame of about 1600 years to write the entire Holy Bible. 1600 years to write the entire Holy Bible. The entire authors, the entire writers, I should say, the entire writers, different level of education, different background, different times, different countries, all of them wrote the same thing. That Jesus Christ is the one and only. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah, meaning God. And He was crucified. And He's going to rise from the dead. And He, whoever accepts Him, shall be saved forever. And 12 apostles, they hugged Him every day. They walked with Him. They lived with Him. They documented everything that they saw. You want me to deny all this? And believe in someone that came six centuries later? Did you know the Quran was written 200 years after Muhammad? I'm not talking about, I'm not attacking, but I'm just quoting what they say. Um, by the way, in their in the Islamic book, his name is Isa. Isa in Arabic derives from the Greek word Isos, which is Jesus, which is Yeshua in Hebrew, which is Isha in Aramaic. So Isa in Arabic was is taken from the Greek word Isos, Jesus.
Yeshua. Yeshua. But that Isa in the Quran is not the Jesus of the Bible. They've got nothing to do with one another, please. Nothing to do with it. Totally different Jesus altogether. And Mary in the Quran, nothing to do with the Holy Mother of the Bible. Absolutely none. In fact, looks like they've got a, a historical, um, a time frame, uh, you know, a mistake. Because... Mary in the Quran is referred to as the sister of Aaron. Who is Aaron? The brother of Moses. They say she is the sister of Aaron. Ach, do you know the, tif the time difference between Aaron and Mary? 1500 to 1600 years how can she be his sister so they, they are two they're talking about two different people here so if somebody comes and says like we believe in in, in isa but that isa is not my jesus this person has got nothing to do with the jesus of the bible absolutely none the jesus in the bible is the son of god is god that Jesus in the Bible was crucified and he is the savior and the redeemer of the world. Do you believe in this or not? Don't tell me he's a prophet. What prophet? What am I going to do with a prophet? A prophet can't help himself, let alone help me. But it's ironic, ironic how they come back and they say that Isa went up to heaven alive and will come back alive. Muhammad is dead and rotted in the grave. Yet this one went up alive and when he comes back, he will judge the living and the dead. I just want to know. Who is the judge of the living and the dead? Isn't it God? Would God give his job to a prophet? So is God now unemployed? I'm asking, is God unemployed? Who is the judge? They'll say God, but you just told me this prophet is going to judge the living and the dead. Now, the other thing is, wouldn't you want to follow someone who is living instead of someone who is dead? Looks like this guy's done much better at work. And if he's going to judge the living and the dead, meaning like humanity, shouldn't I be nice to this one who's going to judge me? In the Quran, it says about the Lord Jesus, according to their book, I speak Arabic, I write Arabic, I read Arabic. I'm educated in the Arabic language. What is Muhammad is saying in the Quran? He's saying, but Jesus or Isa, Jesus, but Jesus, son of Mary, is the word of God and a spirit of God. Now, I ask Muhammad, where did you get this from? But Jesus, son of Mary, is the word of God and a spirit of him. Oh, John, the fourth living creature which is the flying eagle, the gospel of John. John chapter one, verse one, the very beginning of the gospel. In the beginning was the word. Look at what Muhammad is saying. Jesus, son of Mary, is the word of God. Okay, don't lose track of this. He is the word of God. John, six centuries prior to him, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So what are you trying to say, Muhammad? Are you saying Jesus is God? That's what you're saying. You got it from the Gospel of John, not from Allah, from the Gospel.